Unify have just released a network application update a few days ago, 7.1.61. Now I'm going to be doing a video shortly comparing this to an older version just so you can see some of the differences. But there's one thing that stood out to me which I want to have a look at in this video. That is the Teleport VPN. So you can see on here, this is currently a release candidate, so just keep that in mind if you are updating. You can add the Teleport VPN just here, and that requires a firmware version of 1.12.x for the UDM Pro, and 2.4.x for the UDM Pro SE. And just keep in mind, this is not available for the UXG. So what I'm gonna quickly do is click on Teleport VPN, open up that page, make that a bit bigger for you to read, and I'm gonna quickly go through exactly what it is and how it works. So what is Teleport VPN? So it's a one-click VPN functionality within the Wi-Fi Man app. So what this basically does is you're able to generate a link and send it to a said user and they will have access to your network via the Wi-Fi Man app. What you need to do, so as I mentioned, you need to have a Dream Machine Pro running 1.12 or later or a Dream Machine Pro SE running 2.4.0. You need network application 7.1 or later, so we've seen 7.1.61 the Wi-Fi Man app and your remote access must be enabled on your Unify console. One thing I do want to highlight just down here, I'm going to go through this, so what else should you know? Um, just a couple of things that they've specified on their website. Uh, Teleport uses WireGuard VPN to encrypt all your traffic and secure the connection. It does not store any of the data. The Teleport WireGuard's integration allows you to deliver a higher throughput than your traditional VPN. One big thing to note, and that says it just here. So. If you're running this with something else, there is a known issue that may cause the IPsec site-to-site -site VPN to drop in some situations when a teleport client connects. So it's not always the case, but this does happen. So if you're using this in a production environment or somewhere where there is a site-to-site -site VPN and that is quite key, just be careful and be aware of enabling this. Uh, I'm hoping this gets fixed when this actually does get released out of release candidate, but that's just what it says there. There's no functionality of changing the subnets. Um, it will be introduced in the future, so uh, it will give you a basic subnet. It doesn't say exactly what it is, but when I've tested this earlier, it did give me a 192.168.2.1 address. So I'm hoping it doesn't conflict with anything you have on your network already, and it is clever enough to pick something else, but it didn't conflict with any of mine. And the last thing is port forwarding. You don't need to do any port forwarding because the Teleport VPN has a dynamic connection and selects its address of ports automatically. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at this. So just to show you just here, it is in the settings, so you would go to Teleport and VPN, and this is Teleport Zero Configuration Remote VPN Access. So straight away you can see it is two different settings within this, so you have the Teleport VPN up here, and you have your VPN server down here. So they can be used concurrently, they can be used separately, because it's not replacing it. It is just literally a one-time a zero touch VPN access. Very simple and easy to set up. You click enable, you apply the changes, and then you go ahead and generate a link. Now the link expires in 24 hours. And once the link has been created, you can see down here, it creates it in the invitation history. What I can go ahead then do and copy the link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to myself uh, on my phone, and then I'm gonna show you how this works. So you can see that is loaded just there and all I need to do is press the link and it automatically opens up the Wi-Fi Man app. Now all I need to do here is click connect, agree and continue. Now generally with an iPhone you would have to allow it to go and set up the VPN configuration so you would just click allow but I've already done that before and you can see it's now activating the tunnel. And just like that we are connected to the UDM Pro and I'm now connected to my network. If I go back to the page now and quickly refresh it, you can see that invitation has now disappeared. So that no longer exists. At the bottom, you can see it's now added a teleport section. So you still have your speed test, Wi-Fi discovery, and now a teleport section. So this allows you to go on and off so I can disconnect from the VPN and I can reconnect to the VPN. So this goes back and forth both ways. Now, to go ahead and find the device or even revoke access to it, you need to go to your device and clients. Now, if I quickly go ahead and I've organized this by connection, you can see there's an iPhone just here which says teleport. So it's using 192.168.2.1. Doesn't really give you too much more information other than revoke access and disconnect, depending on whatever you want to do. Just going to show you live what happens now when you click revoke access. So if you, you can see that is steadily moving up and down. If I click revoke access, uh, just up here. 
you can see that's gone 1 meg 925 and it's not going up and down anymore it's just stopped now it's showing me as connected because the app hasn't auto updated itself or this section hasn't been auto updated if I just quickly go to oh there we go as I'm speaking it has kicked me off so it did update it, it took a took about 15 to 20 seconds but it did update and it did kick me off and there we go that's the functionality of the teleport VPN now it's really easy and simple to set up it is what exactly what it says it's zero config you tick a box you give, give a link make sure they've downloaded the app and away you go it saves you giving out username passwords giving out your IP address for them to connect to not let alone the string of issues that might come with if they're unable to connect so this is really handy to see this on the app I hope you found this video useful. I will be doing a video doing the update comparison against a previous version like I normally do with any other big Unify update. Remember to hit the subscribe button and like and share if you haven't already. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.